What if I told you there's a half a percent difference in your mortgage rate can cost or save you tens of thousands of dollars a month over the life of the loan? Sound important? It absolutely is. Welcome to Mortgage Rates 101. If you're stepping into the world of home buying, this is the one video you can't afford to skip. Because today we're diving deep in the heart of home finance, unraveling the mysteries of mortgage rates and arming you with the knowledge that could very well save you a small fortune. So we're buying your first home or your fifth. Stay tuned. So let's make some sense of those percentages. Hey, how you doing? I'm Emmett Dempsey, mortgage broker and owner of Treasure Coast Mortgage here in Port St. Lucie, and I help families buy homes. If you would just go ahead and like this video, it helps out YouTube algorithm know uh, what's going on. Also, in my description, there is a free guide, you know, basically the mistakes to avoid if you're buying a home. You can go ahead and click on the link and get that free download. It'll be awesome. Also, if you're not already, go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That out of the way, let's go ahead and move on. So let's break it down. What is a mortgage rate? Think of it as the rent you pay for borrowing money to buy your home. Just like you pay rent to live in an apartment or a house, you're paying interest to live in a home that you haven't fully paid for yet. Now this rent or mortgage plays a huge role in determining your monthly payments. A higher rate means you're paying more over the life of the loan. A lower rate, well, that's like getting a discount on your home's price over time. But here's where it gets interesting. When it comes to these rates, you've got two main choices, fixed rate and adjustable rate mortgages. For the fixed rate, as the name suggests, your interest stays constant throughout the loan. No surprises there. On the flip side, an adjustable rate mortgage, often referred to as an ARM, has an interest rate that can change over time. Initially, it might offer a lower rate than a fixed rate, but remember, it can adjust typically after a set number of years. That means your monthly payment can go up or down. So the big question becomes, which one's right for you? Stability or the potential for lower initial costs with some variability later on. As we move forward, we'll dive deeper into help you make an informed decision. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Over the past decade, mortgage rates have seen some pretty dramatic twists and turns. From the aftermath of the global financial crisis through various economic booms and slowdowns to today's market influenced by COVID and its aftermath on global events. The rates have responded accordingly. This ebb and flow might look just like numbers on a graph, but each point represents a shift in the housing market, buying power, and the overall economy. Now you might be wondering, why does this historical data matter to me as a prospective buyer. Well, understanding these patterns can provide valuable context. For instance, if rates are historically low, it might mean a golden opportunity to buy a refinance. We certainly saw that with rates in the twos and threes. Conversely, if they're on the rise like they are now, it could be a sign that you really need to buy before they drop again. So you need to rewrite your market and more closely and plan your strategy. But remember, while the past can offer insights, your home buying journey is about the here and now. Historical data sets the stage, helping you grasp bigger picture and make informed decisions. And in a market as dynamic as real estate, every bit of knowledge is a powerful tool in your arsenal. First up, external factors. The broader economy heavily influences rates. Think job reports, inflation numbers, even global events. Then there's the Federal Reserve. Their decisions on short-term interest rates can set the tone for mortgage rates, even though they don't directly set them. But it's not just the big global factors. Personal elements count too. For example, your credit score. The better your score, the lower the risk you are to lenders, which can mean, you guessed it, a more favorable rate. And let's talk down payments. The more you can put down up front, the less the lender has to cover. A larger down payment can sometimes tilt the scales in your favor for a better rate. Lastly, the type and length of your loan matter. For instance, conventional loans might have different rates than FHA or VA loans. And typically shorter term loans like 15 years or 10 might offer lower rates compared to the 30 year counterpart, though monthly payments might be higher. So from global economics to personal financial choices, a myriad of factors shape the mortgage rate landscape. Being aware of them, that's the first step to navigating it. All right, folks, time to bust the myth. You know, mortgage rates have a certain aura of mystery around them, leading to a lot of misconceptions. First up, rates are only set by the government. Wrong. While government policies can influence rates, they don't directly set them. Rates are often determined by a combination of factors like the bond market, investor demand, and broader economic conditions. Another one I hear often, everyone gets the same rate. This is far from the truth. Rates can vary based on individual factors from your credit score and down payment to the type of loan you choose. Then there's a the thought, the advertised rate is what I'll get. Be cautious. Advertised rates you see online can be like teaser rates, designed to lure you in and get your loan application. Your actual rates and fees may vary. You know, it might be influenced by points and fees and of course your personal financial situation. And here's a sneaky one. A lower rate always means I'll save money. Not so fast. A lower rate can come with a higher rates and fees or points to buy down that rate that's in the fine print. Meaning the cost of the life of the loan might not be as rosy as it appears. So that's why you want to get advice and look side by side at a no point rate versus a buy down rate with points. The world of mortgage rates is filled with nuances. You know, my advice, stay informed, ask questions, and remember knowledge is your best defense against myths and misunderstandings. All right, folks, let's navigate the waters of mortgage rates in 2023 with a real life example. These percentages might appear close, but when you're talking about a home loan, half a percent can pack quite the punch. Imagine you take out a 30-year mortgage of $300,000 at 7%. Over the course of three decades, you'd be looking at an interest payments of about $420,000. Now shift that rate slightly to 7.5%, selling that interest in place to nearly $464,000. Yep, that, that modest half a percent hike just costs you an extra $44,000. Break it down, and you can be dishing out around $120 more each month, over $1,400 extra every year. That's potentially a whole new vacation, a series of home upgrades, even a chunk of college fund for your kid. 
It's a lot, guys. As we journey through 2023, remember that these rates may change, but the principle remain. Even a tiny percentage difference can leave a lasting impact on your finances. So definitely shop your interest rate and talk to a mortgage broker like me. All right, folks, let's gear up. Let's arm you with the strategies to secure that golden mortgage rate in 2023. Number one, your credit score. Think of it as your financial handshake. A strong grip, or in this case, a high score, tells lenders you're trustworthy. Regularly monitor your score, clear any errors, reduce debts, and of course, pay your bills on time. Small steps can boost that score and get you a better rate. Secondly, never put all your eggs in one basket. Dive deep and shop around. Different lenders, they have varied offers, and sometimes the best deals come from most expected places. You know, don't rush. You know, your diligence can save you thousands. And now let's chat about points. You know, buying points means you're paying extra upfront to lower your interest rate. If you're settling down for the long haul, buying points, you know, could be a win. But if you might move within a few years, those upfront costs may not be worth the long-term savings. In the world of mortgages, knowledge truly is power. Equip yourself with these tips, stay informed, and remember, every fraction of a percentage counts when we're talking about your hard-end money. As we keep going further in 2023, it's vital we also peer into the horizon. What do the mortgage rate tea leaves tell us about the future? At the moment, many experts are seeing rates coming down after, after massive Fed action because uh, right now the federal funds rate is the highest it's been since 2008 and they're trying to wrangle inflation out of the market. So once they do that, rates historically have come down and that's been the trend for the last 50 years of the Fed. When no one has a magical crystal ball, many anticipate that the coming year might bring lower rates. Now for those of you with mortgage rates on your mind, stay alert. You know, or you can just watch the news on major economic indicators like employment rates or global events. They can sway the market, you know, confidence and they can change mortgage rates a lot. So keep an eye on those. Another pro tip, rate locks. You make sure if you're under contract, that, you know, if you want to, if you're in 30 day window, your lender locks your loan. You Make sure you ask them, especially if, if rates are fluctuating. And remember, you know, mortgage landscape is ever evolving. You know, stay informed, stay prepared, and as always, keep an eye out for these signs. At this point in the video, you're probably wondering what other videos we have on the channel. So YouTube wants you to watch this video right here.